just as there is male reproductive system there is also female reproductive system and the organ which is responsible for the production of female gamete and what are female gametes called the ova is ovary. So, the parts of female reproductive system are two ovaries, two oviducts and uterus, one uterus. Ovary is analogous to testis, ovary produces ova, testis produces sperms. Oviduct is like vas deferens. Vas deferens transports sperms, oviduct transports ova and the two oviducts unite to form the uterus, the muscular bag. So, your diagram would be like this, there is ovary, two ovaries. Now, the ovaries are not outside the body like testis, but they are inside the thorax only. Now, from here you will find as if there is a hand holding these ovaries. Actually, it is not a hand, but it is fimbri. These are called fimbri, which join together to form a tube like structure, the oviducts. And the two oviducts join together to form a muscular bag, the uterus. Now, does not it look like as if somebody is standing like this, holding eggs? this is something like this. So, this is the ovary, this is the ovary duct and this is the uterus. Now, ovary produces ova, ova is also single cell like sperms, but it is rounded. There are some layers around it and there is it is filled with large amount of cytoplasm and a nucleus. So, I will draw the sperm also along with it. So, that you can make out how much difference is there in the size. Sperm is tiny, ova is large, but if you will see the nucleus the size of nucleus is same. So, what makes the difference in the size? The amount of cytoplasm. So, in the sperm the main thing is only nucleus and the role of sperm is to transport this nucleus to the ova and then the two unite. Now, what is this union? This union is the most powerful process. It is this union which starts a new life and this is called fertilization. So, now we will study about fertilization.